<laughs> we got holiday tone oh, sends them five dollars shout out to the big homies on the couch ladies if you were in a burning building what sex would you prefer to come and save you stop the cat okay man. let's start with you a man a man oh like what gen- okay yeah what gen- i mean a man obviously man yeah. okay yeah a man duh an alpha man Okay. Mm. That's not even a question. A man. All right. A man. A man. All right. They all passed. They passed that test. Um, We got Carter Benjamin sends in $2. He says, ladies, why can you follow your boss, but not a man? Here we go. I mean, like. Let's start with you. Um, That doesn't. This is generally speaking. It is not maybe just specifically about you, but generally speaking, why. Does why can women follow their boss, but they can't really follow their men? I wouldn't say that they can't. It's a choice. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Well, why don't they want to? Why why do they want to follow their boss, but they don't want to follow their man? Gen- generally speaking. Generally speaking, it's a, a lacking of authority. So, when you have a boss, this person supplies you with your finances. They help you with your survival. They automatically come with this authoritative alpha figure or persona to them and then they have to they establish a sense of respect and if let's say it's a big company or a corporation or everything like that you're not the only person that has to respect them everyone else does so naturally you're going to fall in line so which your man is kind of like if he doesn't possess that that authority over you if he if you don't respect him in that way as um, an alpha or a masculine, someone that you feel that you can listen to or take direction. But from. isn't it illogical for a woman to not respect the person that they're opening their legs to? Yes, it is. Oh but that's the point. It's like, why are you even if, with that man if you don't respect him, if you don't see him as a leader? If you yeah. Don't. So, so then the question case, is like, yeah. the question is like, generally speaking, not y'all. But all women in general, right? And y'all kind of know, like, yeah, girl, she doing good. She got a good job or not even a good job. You know, women tend to, you know, choose men that get into relationships where they don't really respect that guy, but they respect the boss. The boss say, coming at this time, do this. They doing it. The man say anything. Breathe the wrong way. What? Uh, I'm posting the thirst trap the next day and they looking for a replacement. They monkey branching immediately. So since women are in a relationship with a man and that's who they spread their legs open to and they get dominated and they're submissive and that's sex is the most ultimate ultimate form of submission Mm -hmm. so they're doing the most ultimate form of submission but not respecting their man so their boss that's not the ultimate form of submission working for someone labor work Mm -hmm. it's a submissive act but it's not as submissive of laying on your back and getting railed and wanting it as well Mm -hmm. desiring Mm -hmm. it you get what i'm saying that's very submissive doing all the things the hak two and all that that (laughs) i'm just saying though when you're trying to differentiate the two like why can't women why don't women want to submit to their man that they choose but they submit to the boss because oh, I mean you get a good answer but let's I just wanted to say that to open up your mind a little bit what about you Grace I mean not like me because I would follow a man but generally I, yeah I think like women follow social media and on social media it's like be independent mm. so when you follow a man like social media is gonna clown you mm. okay fair enough good answer what about you um I think it I don't know if it really has anything to do with more of like they I don't think they would look at it that way. Like I feel like when they look at it as their job, it's like they're looking at it as like that's their authority. Like they have to follow that or they're not good enough or being well, I don't know, like a boss babe or enough. And okay. I guess when you think of like a relationship that's probably where they feel more comfortable to like be able to push back to have that kind of talk back that they might not have at work or with their boss so it could just really be like they might just feel more comfortable with their man to be able to disrespect them which would also make me wonder with why would a man stay with a woman who doesn't follow his lead too so i think it kind of goes both ways fair enough what about you Mm, i mean generally speaking i kind of agree with her and her 
Um, so social media and kind of just like, you know. Yeah, they, her as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot okay. her name. Jody. 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 I kind of agree with her, her and what she said. Um, <laughs> and Is as that well authority as her, factor? Yeah. Okay. I just feel like some people or females kind of feel, I don't want to say obligated to, you know, respect their boss or, you know, and that type of thing. But I just feel like it's more of, they feel like it's more of an obligation. Okay. When like it it's more socially accepted to be, to respect the boss rather than the man, because mm -hmm. like she said, social media praise you for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I mean, me and like, I'm speaking in general. I feel like a woman would only listen to her boss more if her man doesn't really provide for her. Because I feel like if the man is fully providing and she's only working because she wants to, then she's going to obviously like, you know, listen to her man more and the boss is just kind of there like whatever because like mm. if I lose my job, it's like so what like I'm still good But okay. if she needs the job I feel like that's where she wouldn't really respect her man because it's like you need to shut up I need to go make this money because you're obviously not providing. Mm. Got it. That's how I see it. But yeah. what about I gotta, you? Like I'm on the same page with Rosita like um, honestly like a woman's not gonna like feel like she had needs to listen to her boss more unless yeah. her man isn't doing her job, which like for example, like shout out to my boy KB Knuckles Brim Two M's. Um, he's like a really good provider, like for his family. Like he does whatever he needs to. As like, a man. As a man for his family, so his girl just has to sit back and just relax and doesn't have to do anything. Wait, you talk about your man? You no, know, like my one. I mean, my man does the same exact okay. thing. I mean, I don't really have to work. Y'all been together to for a month. Who paid the bills? <laughs> he paid the bills. Shit, like oh. I have I don't even have to pay for so nothing. Like, think no so bills fast. came in here. He was I like, mean, oh, Papa, you paid bills. <laughs> Come on, we need to No real shit. Like, I honestly, this is the first time I've actually experienced like an Your alpha male. Oh, both of no. our names are on the list. Okay, both of them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Who negotiated that? You? And no, we just both agreed upon okay. it. Like, fair enough, fair but enough. yeah, so I mean, if your man's not doing his job as an alpha male to provide, then I, I mean, you should listen mm -hmm. to your man over a boss any day. Okay. Yeah. Should I be keeping it real too? Okay, fair enough. All right, we got ease. You want anything on that? No, okay, okay. we got on. Gus since in two, and ladies I'm just getting through the super chats but anytime during this y'all could ask questions so if something comes up don't hold back ask the question okay. uh, we got uh, Gus since in two dollars if you're and starting now because we got too many super chats not going to be able to get through them all so starting now chat um, I'm only reading super chats over ten dollars so if it's under ten dollars not going to read it today because it's a lot we got to get through it's a lot of people that's tuning in so you got to send some in $10 or more to be read. Um, but I do appreciate all your support. We got Gus in $2. If you're masculine and feminine, I'm a smart <laughs> retard. <laughs> oh, wow. So he, I think he was talking about um, you. Uh, we got. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, you said that <laughs> men are. You said women are. You know, or maybe it was you. It. Yeah, maybe it was you that said it. But she so, is right. Everybody has masculine. Yeah, we possess energy. both. Um. Okay, we got Queen Lala says in five dollars. Why is it okay for ladies to gender shift between masculine and feminine energy, yet men have to be masculine and tolerate women's toxic? energy shift mm. they don't have to mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay it's a, it's a it's a choice and a social pressure but they don't have to i i would let's change it mm -hmm. women expect men to that's subjective i was general okay. generally speaking we know this. that those women because it came from what you said before you said well Women, you said me, you know, sometimes I got to be out there working and I got to put on my mask, get into my masculine energy. When I come home, then I'm in my feminine energy. When I'm, you know, around my family, feminine energy, stuff like that. So you said, I know how to differentiate the two and turn it off and on. Mm -hmm. So Queen Lala, she's a woman. She said, why is it okay for women to gender shift between masculine and feminine energy? Yet men have, men have to be masculine all the time and tolerate um, a woman's toxic energy when she's shifting because when a woman shifts the masculine energy that's toxic no not necessarily because mm -hmm. women let me ask you a question mm -hmm. so if a woman switching if a woman not switching so when a woman switches to the masculine energy if that's not toxic so here's a question mm -hmm. when a man switches over to feminine energy is that not not toxic yeah I'm asking her. Oh, sorry. 
I would say it's not a matter of switching. It's a matter of finding the balance. Between but answer that. I got you. But answer that question, though. If they switch to from masculinity to femininity. A man. Then, yes. Then it would become toxic. OK. It stop, could be. Look, stop it right there. Be, stop yes. right there. So there's the contradiction. There's the problem. Right. Mm -hmm. So if because let's just speak about it logically. Men are masculine. I'm masculine all day. But what if some days I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Uh, you know, this month you pay the bills. Mm -hmm. This month you go take out the garbage and mow the lawn. Uh, this month, you know what? I'm going to get my toes done, get a mani and petty, and I'm going to, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, uh, wear heels on Saturday nights. Oh, no. You right. know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm in my full <laughs> feminine energy, right? That's like kind of That good. is. <laughs> but, but listen, and not only that, I'm in my full feminine energy. Um, I'm emoting more. I'm more emotional. I'm arguing and bickering at little things that you do. Yep, and he's right? staying, and he's gonna so stay. all of all of these things that I'm doing, I'm expressing more of my feminine energy. I would all say that that's toxic when a man is expressing that, right? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? right? Right. So when a woman is feminine, but she wants to turn on that switch and become more masculine, more rambunctious, more non-agreeable, more okay. assertive, more dominant, that is toxic. Is so that's what we're that saying? It is. Yes, I agree. Yeah. You would and it's also disgusting. Toxic. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So my answer yeah. to that is no, you don't have to deal with it. But I feel like every person should find the balance between the two and be emotional, intelligent about it. Emotionally. What do you mean find a balance between the two? I think women should be feminine at all times, just like women expect men to be uh, masculine at all times. Um, women do expect us men to okay. deal with it because they always say, oh, um, you know, you, you got to be able to handle me. I hate that. So shit. Let me we don't want to handle nothing. So let me ask you this. <laughs> when you have a woman as a partner, right? Let's uh -huh. say you're working towards a goal or something like that. Uh -huh. Your woman is your helpmate, right? So how would you expect her to help you in that, in her fully feminine energy? I mean, if I'm if I'm achieving a goal, because I all the goals that I achieved in my life, I did it without a woman. So okay. if I'm if I'm on the verge of achieving a goal, I just want to have my back, support me, and like you know, just do the little things. Because guys, we don't expect or want much from women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We already know what we have to do. We know how to do it. All we just need is women to do the little things that we don't have time for so we can focus on the goals. Okay. So I just need her to do the little things. Can I say something? So sure. I appreciate that, but what I'm saying is. Um, mm -hmm. When I say back, right after, I, got you. I guess maybe I'm just speaking for myself. Okay. Where I have duality. So like I said, when I'm working, mm -hmm. it's not that I'm aggressive, but it's like I'm yeah. structured. I'm like, all right, we got to do this, we're this, we're this and that and the third. But I still have. I think the real question is, though, feminine energy. Here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Right. Mm -hmm. um, when women say that they could turn it off and on. I don't think that's true. You can't turn it off and on. Because, like, let's just think about it. Mm -hmm. If I'm turning on feminine energy, I'm masculine, right? But then I turn on feminine energy for a week. And all those things that I described, mm -hmm. right? Um, argumentative, I'm emoting more. I'm nitpicking. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing I'm flabloying at some moments. Mm -hmm. That's, like, embedded into my character, right? Mm -hmm. So that's no off and on. Yeah, I can express it more than other times. Mm -hmm. But that's still there. Right. That's still there. Still going to come up even with like the, the way you are at work. You're saying that you're mask more mask masculine at work. I'm saying that when you're at home, you maybe suppress it. But certain characteristic traits within you are still going to pop up in a relationship. Mm. That's just it is what it is, because human beings don't really do a full 360. We don't never. We're not no light switch. There's no yeah. off and on. Only besides when the man is horny, he get turned on like a light switch. But that's the whole point. That <laughs> that's the only difference between uh, that's, that's the whole different. point about but, balance. But well, no, no, that I see what you're saying about balance. But we're pretty much what she's the super chat is saying. Like, answer this part. Like, why do women expect the man to deal with? The woman turning it off, so they got to deal with some of that toxic energy sometimes. Mm -hmm. But we as men, we always have to be in our natural form of being masculine. But y'all could kind of, oh, well, let's find a balance between the two. So her question is like, well, that doesn't make you sense if men have to. Because I don't, I me mean, personally, I don't expect that from my man. I I value a man who expresses his emotions and yeah. is aware of his emotions, but still asserts his masculinity. Like you can still be a man, but still express yourself and not open space for both. 
I don't. You hold generally him may to, have a threshold of how much, uh, how much of a feminine nature that you can deal with in a man. But absolutely. generally speaking, but you, not only that, even you, you still have a limit. Yeah. You have a threshold, but you have a limit. Yeah, just like so a man has a limit. So the thing is, well, no, men don't have a limit when it comes to dealing with a feminine woman. We don't have no limit. When it comes to a woman emoting with us and a woman being vulnerable mm -hmm. with us, we have no limit. Men are made and born to be a rock for the woman's emotions to fall on. It's much different. It's a whole different dynamic. We're built for it. Mm -hmm. But you're not built to be having a man... Throw all his emotions on you. You're not a rock in a relationship. You look for a leader. Mm. You're, if if that is the case, then you're going to be, you know, looking for another option. You, resentment will grow. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that generally speaking, like men were built for it. Women aren't built for it. So I don't I don't think that's good to even say that. Well, yeah, I want a man that, you know, can emote and be vulnerable. I would say that. You shouldn't even be looking for those characteristic traits in a man because you'll start to turn and you start to even look for beta type of men. Those are the those are the characteristic traits like we spoke about in the Bible right. that leads men astray. <laughs> Do men want a woman that they feel comfortable and to express their emotions in or do you like not want to express how you feel? Because women, the reason we like that is because like we we are emo like you said we're emotional creatures like that's how we like we feel the world as men you, see it almost you. so like if we like think of like if you're really stoic right and we don't know like what we're what you're feeling sometimes like we overthink it that's because like, you you asked do men want the right. woman to be to be more like a man no no no, 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 no i'm sure. asking if like you want like specific like for for like your woman do you want her to be like a safe place for you to come to her and be like with no. your emotions no like, i would no. say that yeah men like, generally we don't care you don't Look. care so when you're like feeling that way who do you go to men oh uh, man because men? a yeah. lot of a lot of you women say you want your man to open up emotionally about how he's feeling but most most men know that once a man gets um, emotional and expresses feelings towards a woman, it's just only a matter of time so she gets turned off by that. Looks at him, and looks at him as weak. Mm -hmm. And women love to throw, yep, throw it throw, in her face. Throw, throw, throw it in your face in all. Yeah, she was. Oh, you, you cried when we so, was on vacation. Mm, nigga, so, yeah. so most men we know that. So like, we're feeling some kind of way. We'll, we'll probably be like, babe, you know, I'm feeling some kind of way. Just right. give me some space, and yeah. I'm gonna be alright. That space is us going to go talk to our boys because. Right. Guys that know women know not to vent, right. you know what I mean, and be vulnerable to women. Because all you, all you women say that until you actually get that guy, then you guys get immediately turned off. Oh, I feel like I like when a man communicates to me, like you just said, like, I'm going through something, like, I need a space or whatever. But there's some men who don't say anything at all and kind of, like, blow up. you out and block mm -hmm. you out and, like, to be blocked out so, from a man. So at that point, that's when you well, no, like, well, that point, this is what it is. You're trying to change your man into a woman. Like I said, you said I'm wrong, but no, I'm right. The things that you're looking for from a man is things that you have in you. The man is a man and you're a woman. So you're looking for him to emote. You're looking for him to express his feelings to you. A real masculine man is not his place. He don't do that. He don't operate like that. He's very analytical and tactical with right. his behaviors and the way he approaches life and his worldview. He's not looking to, you know, cry on a, be vulnerable with his woman or tell his woman, you know, situations that she don't need to even be worried about. A real man that knows his position well, I'm here to make my woman have a very comfortable life. Mm -hmm. So why would I put she's I know that she's more vulnerable than me and she has more emotions than me. So why would I put my situation on her when I know she can't handle it like I can? And I know it's my job to handle it for her. Mm -hmm. So a real man, you're trying to change the dynamic. Women shouldn't be looking for these beta men. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The characteristic traits that you're looking from looking for from a man is very beta. It's very flamboyant type feminine men and it leads the world astray it's just the facts i have a question go ahead so where's the limit of so what so how he just said like just give me some space that's communication yeah that's expressing communication is fine yeah that's expressing yeah. a level of vulnerability to where it doesn't take you out of your element but also doesn't have you pouring into us it doesn't mean when i'm saying 
I'm holding space for vulnerability for my man. That doesn't mean I'm sitting here <laughs> wanting to turn you into a woman and say, cry on my shoulder, babe. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying say something because of the understanding that if you suppress too much, mm -hmm. you're going to it's a good chance that you're going to blow up yeah. and it can trickle so, down and affect me. So I, so I need to be protective, not only of myself, but my household and you and your mental state and everything else around. Well, Do I need to control up, you? That's still you're thinking <laughs> of. I don't need to control there you. There are no. men. So you're thinking about the dynamic wrong. Mm -hmm. If you choose a man mm -hmm. that's going to be blowing up because he can't handle his emotions. He just had a beta moment. Oh, right, that's, a, that's, okay. that's, that's something men. that that's a feminine type okay. of man. So I've never in masculine men, the guys that I hang around with, we don't express our emotions outwardly. We deal with it internally. He so then, when we expressing things outwardly, we're not being emotional and vulnerable, gotcha. right? So okay. that's what I truly think. But what you had, East? Yeah, but no, I was gonna say is um, like some guys are good at communicating that, saying, "Hey, look, I need some space. I'm I'm, I'm in a mood. Let me, you know." let me be and then you guys got guys that aren't as good at expressing themselves so with those guys you know the best thing you can do is say look hey babe look i see that you're not happy for some kind of way why don't you go talk to one of your boys or why don't you go out and do something fun or whatever just encourage what's already exactly in nature. okay you know gotcha. I mean? and then because because I'm sorry, not every, not every guy is the same. Not all of us know how to communicate. You know what I mean? It's just the truth. But by, just by showing support, just by acknowledging that he's in some kind of way, you know, be like, hey, you want me to cook your favorite food? Mm. Or, or, hey, you want me to do this for you? Do something that he likes? Or, you can nurture. That's the time right. to nurture. nurture. It's like, just be supported mm -hmm. from a distance. It's like, it's like we all have that one friend that, um, that won't say sorry, but, you know, they'll be like, let's say, you, let's say you argue with a friend or whatever, and you know they don't say sorry, but they'll say sorry, but like, hey, so you trying to go to the mall? Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you want you want you want you want something to eat? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, that's the perfect. That's so, the way you handle a relationship. Right, if you right. can sense, right? Women like to say they're very intuitive. So if you can sense that your man is going through something and he maybe don't want to express it, instead of being nitpicky and like, "Oh, baby, please tell me what's going on," just be in the supportive role and the nurturing role. And, you know, be there to support him instead of wanting to, like, find out and want these emotions for him to put them on you when you, who knows if you can handle them or not. Handle them or not. Mm -hmm. So just let him be a man and you be a woman, be nurturing and let him be masculine. So if you like that clip and you want to watch more, click right here. But if you want to watch the full episode, click right here.